this is the first song I can remember singing in church as a child. Uh, my mother played the piano for it. Damn. And, you do that. and uh, if I could ever find the music to it, I found the words to it. Not my will. If I ask for a thing that I should not ask for, if I pray for a thing selfishly, if I ask for myself and not for others, lift this veil from my eyes and let me see. Amen. Not my will, but thine be done. Yes. Pray, Jesus, may the same prayer be mine every day. When this robe of flesh that I wear makes me falter, guide my steps, hold my hand all the way. Amen. If I murmur about the tolls of my journey, if I seek for an easier way, if I worry because my load gets so heavy, make me willing to walk in thy way. Not my will, but thine be done. Pray, Jesus, may this same prayer be mine every day. When this robe, robe of flesh that I wear makes me falter, guide my steps, hold my hand all the way. When my pathway is dark, and my heart is so weary when I feel all alone in this fight. Yeah. Come, dear Lord, walk with me along this pilgrim's journey. Be my compass, be my chart, be my guide. Not my will, but thine be done. Pray, Jesus, may this same prayer be mine every day when this robe of flesh that I wear makes me falter. Guide my steps, hold my hand all the way. Amen. 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 Y'all pray for us. Pray for me especially. <clears throat> I was I was standing on the banks of the river looking out over life's troubled sea when I saw an old ship that was sailing is that the old ship of zion i see its hull was bent and battered from the storms of life i could see But that old ship was sailing. Is that the old ship of Zion I see? At the stern of the ship was the captain. I could hear as he called out my name. of Zion, it will never pass this way again. As I 
step on board. I'll be leaving all my troubles and trials behind. I'll be safe with Jesus the captain sailing out on the old ship of Zion, sailing out on the old ship of Zion. Amen. 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 So... When, of course, Jerry was like, Jerry always asks us to come and find, try to find a song last week. Well, I didn't think I was going to sing anything because I was like, well, nope, nothing's coming to mind, a song that I could sing. I said, Lord, if you want me to sing a song, just, you know, bring one to mind. Amen. Well, I forget what day it was, but I was going through a box of, I collect like a lot of letters and random stuff. And it was a sister, it was a sister, it was a letter that my sister wrote to me. Um, back when I was going, to, I was in college, and it was on the back of one of our songs that we sang together in our in our girls' chorus. And it was entitled. It, the title of the song is called "Yes, Lord," or not "Yes, Lord." Lord, I need you. And just the words in this song is everything that I've been going through, and it's I've been singing it in my head like constantly. It's like this never-ending song. So I hope it's a blessing to you as it's been a blessing to me. Amen. Sometimes when life seems gentle and blessings flood my way, I turn my gaze away from you and soon forget to pray. But when the skies grow darker, and courage turns to fear my anxious voice cries upward with words you long to hear lord i need you yes when the sea of life is calm oh lord i need you oh, yes. when the wind is blowing strong whether trials come or cease, keep me always on my knees. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Amen. Lord, help me to remember I'm weak, but you are strong. I cannot sing apart from you. For, Lord, you are my song. Although I'm prone to wander and boast in all I do, Lord, keep my eyes turned upward so I depend on you. Lord, I need you. Oh, yes, when the sea of life is calm, Oh, Lord, I need you. When the wind is blowing strong, whether trials come or cease, keep me always on my knees. Lord, I need you. Lord, I need you. Amen. Amen. That's good. Amen. song kind of goes along with this one that I'm going to do um, called Even in the Valley, God is Good. You know, in our lifetime, we go through mountaintops and valleys, and, and God is good no matter which direction we are. We can always find something good that he's done for us. Oh. 
high upon this mountain the sun is shining bright my heart is filled with gladness here above the cares of life but i've just come through the valley of trouble fear and pain it was there i came to know my god enough to stand and say even in the valley god is good even in the valley he is faithful and true he carries his children through like he said he life has led you to a valley of defeat you wonder if the father has heard your desperate plea there is hope in that rugged place where tears of sorrow dwell can't you hear him gently whispering i'm here and all is well even in the valley god is good even in the valley he is faithful and true he carries his children through like he said he sing tonight. I hope it'll help some of you that's lost loved ones like I have. Precious memory unseen angel sent from somewhere to my soul how they linger ever near me and the sacred past unfold precious memory how they linger how they ever flood my of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold precious father loving mother fly across 
the lonely years and no home scene of my childhood in fond memory appears precious memories how they linger how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold in the stillness of the midnight echoes from the past I hear old time singing gladness bringing from that lovely land somewhere precious memories how they linger how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight precious sacred scenes unfold as I travel on life's pathway no not what the years may hold as I ponder hope grows fonder precious memory flood my soul precious memory how they linger, how they ever flood my soul in the stillness of the midnight, precious sacred scenes unfold. Amen. Well, we saved the oldest for last. You know, so I didn't say the best for last. But this song I happen to love, and I guess because it simply fits. Roger, would you mind getting over here, buddy? There you go. I don't trust you behind my back, you know. <laughs> this is a wonderful old song called Where We'll Never Grow Old. I never dreamt that uh, growing old would be this difficult. I, I thought it would be like all those commercials. They talk about the golden days, you know. You're retired and you're just living along on the easy street. It's not that way, is it, folks? It's not that way. But praise God, there's a place coming. And this song speaks about that. Where we'll never Let's grow old. Let's clarify something, though. We have three old codgers and a machine. That's right. <laughs> well, we used, to, we used to have another old codger, but Brother Ed's knees have gone bad on him, and Brother J.C.'s health has not been that well. So we went out and recruited, and we recruited... <laughs> We recruited Michelle. I hope you enjoy it. Never grow old. I have heard of a land on 
the far away strand. Tis a beautiful home of the soul. Built by Jesus' own hand, there we never shall die. Tis a land where we never go And if you don't know, sing with us, never go Looking forward to that land. Help us sing. Stand to your feet if you would and get your hymnal and turn to 425. We've been singing tonight and I love this choir. I love these voices. And this song simply says, He keeps me singing. 425. Stand if your knees will let you. First, second, fifth verse. There's within my heart a melody, Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee, peace be still, in our wildest ebb and flow. Here we go, love church. Jesus, 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 sweet as may my know. Singing as 
Amen. Thank the Lord. Praise God. Amen. And uh, I tell you right now, howdy and shake time's getting awfully long around here, and it praise God. Amen. And uh, yeah, buddy. And uh, yeah, some churches don't fellowship handshake a whole lot. And um, but I think when you come to the house of God, you ought at least at least let people know you love them. Praise the Lord. And um, and, and things, and so, uh, uh, you know, through the death of LaVonda's former uh, youth pastor, um, you, learn, you learn that um, you can never say, I love you, or good to see you, I appreciate you, or anything like that, um, uh, you know, uh, too much, you know what I'm saying? And uh, so, um, we praise the Lord for His goodness, and uh, had a wonderful time this morning, and uh, God was certainly good to us, and I appreciate all of you praying, and I hope you've been praying today, <clears throat> and um, I've had a good afternoon, and, and um, I've been out on the back porch most of the day, sitting in the shade, and uh, I've had a, just a nice, peaceful afternoon, and, uh, and things, not that I had to go outside to get that, it's just a beautiful day, hadn't it been a beautiful day out there, and uh, so... Uh, my kind of weather will be back this week, hot and steamy this week, amen? And uh, so that's why I like it. And uh, so uh, what's the weather like in Canada? Has preacher said anything about it? It was in the 70s yesterday. 70s yesterday. Well, we can handle that, praise God. And uh, so uh, that's good. And uh, let me mention just a few things tonight in prayer. Um, I failed to mention this morning, Brother David's wife, Connie, she had surgery this week. She's doing better. Um, Brother Dave, forgive me for not mentioning her and things, but she's doing really good. So really pray. The doctors felt like surgery was needed and, uh, and things. And so it was all taken care of, and it looks like things are going to be all right. We praise God for that. And also a little note about little Katie Thompson. Uh, some of you have heard, some of you probably haven't heard, you know, they did a scan on her brain the other week to check her for a, um, a, a brain tumor. Well, she doesn't have that, praise God. And so, uh, you know, she doesn't have a brain tumor, but she does have some polyps and things in her nasal cavities, and they're probably going to have to go in there and surgically remove those and things. And so I've never had that, but I've known people that has had it, uh, and I've heard that it's very, very painful. And uh, so I uh, just really pray about that. But uh, praise God, we'll take polyps over a tumor any day. Hallelujah. And uh, so... Uh, but you know, listen, uh, even in the valley, God's still good, praise God. And I'm grateful to the Lord for that. So continue to remember her in prayer. Also continue to remember Lorraine in your prayers tonight. Um, remember Brother Wayne Rosenbaum, a good friend of ours. I uh, mentioned him this morning. Um, he's doing some better. Uh, David, that comes sometimes on Wednesday night, he said, uh, he was telling me the other day, he said, my mom and dad won't listen. And I said, well, welcome to the world of misbehaving parents. And uh, I said, I've got a 78-year-old. She's just like them. She don't listen one bit. And uh, so I said, I've just come to the realization, let her do what she wants to do, and we'll just deal with that fallout, all right? And I said, you can live peaceably like that and stuff, but pray for him. He's doing good, but just pray. Pray for Sister Jenny. She knew she wouldn't be back tonight and things this morning. Kind of, kind of got a war out and things, and so uh, pray about that. I do remember my mother in prayer tonight and uh, ask the Lord to be with her. I tried to call her a couple times today. The phone lines have been busy, and so I haven't had a chance to speak to her. My brother was up earlier today, and he said she was all she was doing is pretty much just sleeping a lot right now. And uh, they found out she's got shingles on her back and down the back part of her leg, and so she's dealing with that and uh, whatever else is going on. So we really, really want you to pray about that. And then uh, also remember my brother's mother-in-law, Polly Alexander. Polly Alexander, remember her? Uh, she is just not doing well at all. I don't know if she'll be living the time we get out of here. I just don't know. Um, but she took a fall this week, and she's just not able to, just don't look like she's going to be able to pull out of it. But with the help of the Lord, God can do anything. And, uh, but infection is setting in now, temperatures are rising, and, 
She's in intensive care on a ventilator, so I really want you to pray for her tonight. Also, Brother Robert's sister, Barbara Clemens, let's remember her tonight. Also, Marie Ketron, Maud Provitt, remember these. Remember Pastor and the guys while they're away and, uh, and things, and pray that they have a great time away. Pray for Pat. I, I'm sure she's probably enjoying her time at the house, aren't you, sis? God bless you. And, uh, huh? <laughs> and uh, hey listen if you're going to change anything right now's the time to do it he ain't home all right so uh, just go ahead and change it and tell him we took a church vote and it was okay for you to do so so he'll have to deal with all of us all right so <laughs> and uh, and things and so um, and then also uh, brother rob got no uh, bicycles this morning so listen if you have a bicycle laying around you're not using see him sister heidi uh, they're going to take the teens on the on the uh, the trail this coming Saturday, and so uh, uh, that'll be a great help if you could help them. Let them know, and then coming Wednesday night, uh, prayer meeting at six thirty. Right after prayer meeting Wednesday night, right out here in the breezeway, uh, we're going to have some ice cold watermelon, ice cold cantaloupe. We have anything else, do we? We have. Yeah, praise God. Wake the deacon up in the back, tell him we're having church, all right? And, uh, and they do what? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and, uh, and so uh, I don't know what we'll have Wednesday night. Y'all just come on, all right? And uh, we'll have Bible study Wednesday night, and uh, then we'll go out here and we'll have a nice time of fellowship. Uh, next Sunday morning is our Sunday School Promotion Sunday. And uh, we, uh, we're going to be promoting some kids next week. And we're just praying the Lord will help us in a special way. And then also tonight, um, uh, Sister Jolene gave me this note uh, tonight. And so one of their missions that they're doing this year is selling cookbooks, okay? Everybody likes a good cookbook. You women can't have enough, I promise you that. Uh, my mom, I bet she's got 40 in her, in her closet and stuff. But uh, anyway, uh, we're going to order 10. We're going to order 10 of these cookbooks, okay? They're not here yet, but we're going to order them, and we're going to get at least 10 of them. If we get more orders than that, that's fine. They're $13 a piece, all right? And so they're raising money for some missions and things. And so if you'd like to have a cookbook, and she's got on here 175 pages, and I think there's probably at least two per page, front and back. So you do the math. It's a pretty good book. I guarantee you that. Amen? Yes? Pictures? Praise God. Well, I don't know. They said pictures worth a thousand words, you know. And uh, so um, I'll tell you what you do. You buy one. You just go ahead and buy one, and then you make it. We'll take a picture of it, I promise you, all right? <laughs> Hallelujah. And uh, yeah, buddy. And uh, so it'll be all right. And, but uh, if you'd like to help out with that, see Sister Jolene. She's collecting money starting tonight, all right? And she's going to go ahead and order some and get them here. And, but if you'd like to have one, see her tonight, uh, if you will. All right, we'll get a couple of our men to come up tonight and do our offering, if you will. And uh, while they're coming, um, I've got a very, very special song for you tonight. Uh, someone you've never heard sing before. And um, someone that always blesses my heart. And uh, he's been in heaven now for about 22 years. And uh, my dad is still singing in funeral homes. Unbelievable. Um, and what you're going to hear tonight, I'll just kind of give you a little bit of background. What you're going to hear tonight, you're going to hear a fellow that loves God. Not that these people don't love God. These, they did a wonderful job tonight, and I appreciate them. Uh, but my dad, he loved God. I've got a DVD of my dad preaching uh, and things. And my dad had about a fourth grade education and um, grew up in Lee County, Virginia. Um, wonderful, precious, precious man. I'm saying just not because he's my dad. Um, they had a fourth grade education, left Lee County, Virginia, came to Bristol to get a job at Raytheon. He took a job at Raytheon, worked at Raytheon about 38 years, and he worked his way up in the company. That's when hard work paid off. And uh, worked hard, was there every day, was there when he was sick, was there when he didn't need to be, but he was there. Worked his way up, and he soon started working and, and, uh, and, and, and supervising 40 and 50 and 60 people at one time on assembly lines and soon got to where he's about 5th or 6th in command at Raytheon and had just certain clearances in certain parts of the building and only certain people could go. Uh, and I'm telling you, listen, I'm telling you that, listen, God can use anybody. 
And to this day, my dad's been dead 22 years to this, and, and I'm telling you right now, to this day, if I run into somebody in the street, I'd always hear somebody say, boy, you had the greatest dad in the world. And I'm thankful for that. But what you're going to hear, you're going to hear my dad sing, and helping him in the background is a group called the Gospel Gordon Airs. I don't know if you've ever heard of them or not, but it's a group of ladies, about three or four men and stuff. And so uh, most of these people are in heaven. But my dad, he carries the, uh, the, the main part of the song, and then they come in on the chorus. And I really want you to listen to a song that it was his favorite song. If there was a title song of his ministry, it was this one. And I trust and pray it'll be a blessing. Well, let's pray tonight, and then we'll have my dad to sing. Father, tonight, thank you for this good day. And Father, tonight, we praise you for your goodness. And Father, tonight, I pray that you bless this offering tonight. And thank you, Lord, for every gift and every giver tonight. And Lord, bless those especially that have not to give. And Lord, I pray that you'll take uh, the songs we've already heard. And Lord, may they be a blessing to our heart and life. And Lord, I pray for my dad as he sings tonight. I pray, Lord, he'll encourage the people greatly as well. And um, thank you, God, for the memories that I have of my dad. And um, Lord, I just want to praise you and thank you that someday uh, I'll be with him. And I'll be with him forever. And I'll be with you. And God, we won't have to say goodbye no more. And uh, we'll just say hello and we'll just take up where we left off. And God, we'll just shout that we'll just shout heaven down someday because of your goodness. Bless Lord, I pray and use this song to be a blessing. And God will give you glory and praise and honor for all you do. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.
Amen. Amen. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tonight. And, and uh, I'll tell you what, it just never gets old. Praise God. And um, I'm telling you, it's the things about the good Lord and the things that we have to enjoy. Uh, listen, they just never get old to me. And, um, but I trust that it encouraged your heart. And I appreciate everybody that sang tonight. And what a blessing it was to have you to sing. And um, uh, it's a blessing having my dad sing right before I preach. Amen. And uh, so, uh, amen. Right back there, brother. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And isn't that a joy? And, uh, and I tell you what, listen, folks, we got to get back to praising the Lord. And uh, we got to get back. You know, the Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And uh, I'm not talking basically with your hands as much as I am with your lips. Praise God. And I'm going to tell you, uh, that'll work. And, uh, you know, uh, it's kind of like the old feller said one time, said, um, said a bumper sticker on the back of the car. It said, uh, honk if you love Jesus. And then the rest of the other bumper sticker said, tie. said, anybody can honk. Praise God. And so listen, uh, listen, uh, you can clap if you want to. But I'm going to tell you right now, if it comes from your lips, it has to come out of your heart. And uh, so listen, let's just lift up our voices to the Lord. And uh, let's just keep trusting God. And uh, I appreciate the goodness of the Lord. Our text tonight, 2 Corinthians chapter number 4 tonight. 2 Corinthians chapter uh, number 4. And I'll try to be very, very brief tonight. And uh, I scared some of you, I think, earlier tonight. I said, well... If they sing for 40 minutes, I'm going to preach for 40 minutes. But um, um, we're going to give you what God has given us. And um, I heard my dad preach on the, on the DVD that I have of him. I believe it's actually 12 minutes long on Easter Sunday. And uh, he said more in 12 minutes than most preachers can say in an hour. Amen. Amen. And uh, so uh, we're going to give you what God has given us, and I promise you I'll do the very, very best that I can to get us out of here tonight very, very quickly. But as I talked to you and told you this morning, uh, we're going to be talking about some uh, the five guiding ministry principles that I believe that uh, all churches should have um, and things, and I think our church should have. I think as a Christian, uh, you and I, we should have some guiding principles in our life. Uh, now we know tonight the Word of God is, is above everything and above everyone as far as a guiding, uh, a, guiding a word, uh, something God has given us to take and carry and hide in our word, heart and place in our heart. Uh, but you know there's just some things in life uh, that as we read the Word of God and we study the Bible, uh, there's just some things tonight that really should guide us in life. Uh, my wife's favorite verse in the whole, the whole Word of God is Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all of thy ways acknowledge Him, Christ, and He will direct your path. And so I, I, I promise you tonight that if you'll acknowledge the Lord and you'll allow God to work in your life, I promise you tonight if you'll do that, God said that He would direct our path. And I want, my, I want my path to be directed to the Lord. I want that. And you know, the Bible speaks about the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. And I want, I want my steps to be where God wants them to be, all right? That's what I want more than anything in the world. And, uh, and I fell at it a lot, but I'm thankful tonight that I have a wonderful Savior that loves me and uh, forgives me and helps me, and when I fail and falter, praise God, I've got Him to depend upon, and I've got friends and people that love me and pray for me and help me and lift me up and encourage me. And, and uh, listen, we got to get back to that, folks, and, and uh, I'm serious. Uh, uh, I'm serious. I could go on and all night on, on that subject, but anyway, tonight what I want to give you uh, is our five guiding ministry principles that I think that our church, and not only our church, but all churches should have. And it's built on a focus principle, a focus principle. Verse 1, chapter 4. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry, as we have received mercy, we faint not. The Bible talks about fainting in the day and the time in which we live. It says to let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season 
we shall reap if we faint not. And, and I'm serious tonight. Uh, we have got to trust God tonight more than we ever have in the world in which we live. We're living in some changing times. We're living in some unusual times. And sad to say, our world is not what it used to be. Our churches are not what they used to be. Our Christian life and our, 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 our families, our homes a lot of times are, are not what they used to be. And I'm talking about, you know, as a kid riding a bicycle, you could ride a bicycle two or three miles down the road and your mom never worried about you. Now you don't let them get too far out of sight now because you're worried about this or that or this or that and things. But listen tonight, what I'm saying tonight is that you and I tonight, we need to focus. We need to focus. It says in verse 2, But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty, not walking in craftiness, nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Listen again. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. What a terrible, terrible, terrible indictment against the local church, the house of God, the one that God has put beside the road to reach out into a lost world with the good news of the gospel and he has left them there to serve him and serve others.